Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our Dungeon Boss Face-Off series. Today we are taking a look at a requested one via the comments on previous ones. We are going to be looking at Kira vs. Black Diamond. Most of you believe that this is a lopsided affair. And we're going to look at the actual numbers to see if that uh, holds true. We're going to start off with just looking at the basic uh, elements of these two characters. Um, we're not going to consider the... Uh, sort of shady details of Kira in terms of his uh, excessive dodging and his tenacity in PvP. So we're not going to look at that to start with. Let's focus more so on, let's just say hypothetically, a PvE situation. Let's say PvP didn't exist in the game and it came down to Kira versus Black Diamond in terms of which one do you actually want to use. Who's better, um, to say the least. So without further ado, let's get to some number crunching and have a quick look at their base stats. Remember, we're looking at base stats, not um, stats that occur after epics. We will consider epics um, for the most part, but a lot of our calculations are based off of base stats. So that way, somebody who has um, a level 25 uh, three-star Kira, three-star Black Diamond, maybe you could uh, look at things that way as well. But keep in mind that some heroes get better over time, some get diminishing returns over time. You can't always compare them, which is why we're doing these at uh, fully ascended and six stars. And uh, in my case, um, Kira is also going to be max epic as well. Let's jump in here. First, look at Kira. His base attack, as far as base attacks go, 21-25 is definitely on the higher side. It's probably amongst the highest out of everybody in the game uh, for the most part. It's a very high attack um, as far as a base attack goes. And um, had he not been a yellow light hero, then uh, this 21-25 base attack would be absolutely brutal. Fortunately, he's somewhat limited by his uh, his rune loadout with the two light runes and a water rune. So it uh, rains them back a little bit. Um, but um, unfortunately for us, well not for us, I don't really care so much. But um, Black Diamond is also limited by the exact same rune loadout. So if she can't compare attack wise, 1946. 1946 compared to 2125, we're looking at a 10% difference in attack right there. That's gonna be tough to make up uh, <laughs> even with um, the best of runes. So in terms of pure attack, uh, Kira's um, head and shoulders above her. So nothing we can do about that one. Defense, Black Diamond, 1480, and that is fairly low for the most part. Versus Kira. Remember he is epic right now, we're gonna ignore that for starters. His defense, 1,700, so he is 300 base higher, plus with uh, Epic, he's going to grow another 30%. So if we consider both of these heroes at their max, Kira's got vastly superior defense to Black Diamond as well. So right now, two for two in terms of Kira versus Black Diamond. Let's look at, next up is Skill. Skill is 2144, but it's 1787 base, but it can max out at 2144. So let's keep both of these in mind right now. 2144, 1787. We look at Black Diamond. Really looking forward to that hero sort when it comes out, so I don't have to do this. Black Diamond, base, 2072. So 1787 is definitely, um, well, lower than this. So Black Diamond's got better skill. However, the 2144 after the max epic does nudge it in the favor of Kira. All things considered, let's pretend for a moment that we don't have a max epic Kira. We will give Black Diamond one point in terms of skill. So she's got a little bit more skill, which ultimately will yield this uh, higher crit chance and maybe a couple other things as well. So we'll give her a point for this one just because base-wise uh, she is superior. Health-wise, if you've ever used Black Diamond, my god, when we try to do her epics, it's going to be bad uh, when that comes around. Her base health is 3,300. 3,373 for base health. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's casters that have better health than that. So um, if she ever comes around to getting an epic, hopefully they do give her a, kind of an overhaul as well because um, she just cannot survive with that kind of health. Not in, in boss mode and, and sometimes not even in um, challenge mode. So very, very, very low health. 
in fact, does it even make a difference to even look at Kira? We know this is going to be a win in Kira's favor here. But here he is. Base health on Kira is 5,200, so it's already 60% higher than Black Diamond. Uh, in terms of percents, that's massive. I mean, in terms of overall health, it's only 2,000, which isn't much. But he also gets 20% uh, for his Epic, which uh, essentially doubles up Black Diamond. If Black Diamond got an Epic and got 30% health, she still wouldn't compare to uh, Kira because of that uh, fact. So looking at the core base stats, we're looking at... Um, Basically, all four of them are Kira, but we, we gave a courtesy point to Black Diamond, so 3-1 to one in terms of base stats. Um, going into the actual abilities and skills, it's, it's hardly even a contest. It's going to be quite a, a difficult task for Black Diamond to rally back and defeat her nemesis, which anybody who played uh, back almost two years ago, Kira was somewhat underwhelming, and Black Diamond was kind of the one that uh, everybody wanted, but things change over time. That's uh, kind of how it goes. Abilities wise, looking at damage, Death Blossom hits two times for 744, uh, so let's just call it 1500 uh, for the most part here. 1500 damage versus Black Diamond. And this is actually one of the best comparisons we can do because both of these guys have the exact same targeting uh, type skills or targeting type abilities where it's AoE, then single attack, then single attack. Black Diamond, on the other hand, Blade Storm does 1265. So 1500 versus 1265, we're looking at about a, let's see, 25% increase uh, for for Kira. The only saving grace is that possible um, disease factor. If you see that in PvP, because uh, Kira could one-shot Cobal, occasionally he gets diseased, um, and then... Uh, his less his other attacks are less. Um, Black Diamond, on the other hand, um, she gets to unleash almost all of that, uh, at least if she doesn't uh, kill Cobal. But anyway, you spin it. Um, 1500 damage versus 1265 advantage Kira again. So on to the single target attacks. Assassinate, which is one of the coolest ones, because it does have the option to give a second follow-up attack if you do actually kill somebody. 1849, let's call it uh, 1850. Uh, just for the sake of doing so. Versus single a target, not Koros. Um, single a target with Kira. His Chi attack, which I believe it's the only Chi attack in the entire game. 24-44. Massive, massive uh, difference here. We are looking at 1850 versus 2400. So it's 600... It's about 30% higher, if I got that calculation right. 600 more, so, yep, it's about 30% higher. For a single target attack and just one individual ability, 30% uh, versus, um, you know, versus Black Diamond, that, that's pretty impressive. And then Dim Mach 2673, actually no, 2656 if we look at the non-leveled up. It's interesting how they put the next level on here, even though we don't have the next level. 2656 versus Black Diamond. And we are looking at Assassin's Wrath, which has a cool effect of increasing crit. But at this point here, it only does 1557. It is getting dangerously close to being doubled up by Kira. That's um, quite a bit better. We're looking at... Uh, at least a close to a 70 or 80 percent increase uh, cure versus black diamond now you might be thinking okay maybe your runes play a part in this and the fact that cure is epic and such like that and so um that's um impacting these numbers here keep in mind these numbers that we're seeing here uh, on these attacks these numbers do not change with runes so while the attack does go up and down uh, based on the runes that you put on there, the numbers that you're seeing here are fixed numbers. They do not change uh, as far as the tooltip goes. So if you're looking for proof of that, um, I will just do a quick uh, example here just to prove this. If we look at the abilities, and Kiss of Death does 14.99. If I were to put a rune on her, we know that this is going to increase power. There's a bunch of extra health. 
ability, Kiss of Death, $14.99, still the same. So the numbers that I'm using for comparison are base numbers that do not change. So even if we had uh, no runes on Black Diamond or Kira, Kira is still better uh, in literally every single way except for possible skill. Uh, the only thing that I didn't really look at was um, their basic attack, 963, and then um, Kira has... And Kira has, there he is, Kira's got um, 1063. What this amounts to is basically um, both of these guys have about 50% of their basic attack. Um, if they have roughly the same percent of their base attack, Kira's attack is higher, his base attack is always going to be... Um, his base attack skill is always going to be higher than uh, Black Diamond's as well. Pair that with the fact that he's epic and we have the ability to do massive, massive, probably like six or eight times damage uh, what uh, Black Diamond does. Well, maybe it's only about four times, uh, but uh, it's going to seem like a lot more. But um, So for those of you that um, expected a absolute beatdown between Kira and Black Diamond, you were right to assume so. That's not to say that you should not invest in Black Diamond. Black Diamond does still have some neat effects. I'm not going to talk about um, Kira's effect because um, he is one of the top meta heroes in the entire game. If you don't know about Kira or what he does, um, you're definitely missing out. I'm not going to go into detail on that. But um, looking at Black Diamond, she does have some traits. So increase uh, crit and skill for all light allies, which is nice. Fortunately, there's... There's not too many other light heroes that you're going to be using with Black Diamond other than Kira. Kira's going to outshine her anyways. But if you happen to have uh, Arya or even someone, uh, in this case here, uh, bringing um, Augustus as far as running a dungeon, this is really helpful because that skill is going to help you with your heals. Um, that is about it. She gets Enhanced Crit. And then she has a chance to dodge range attacks. So nothing else too much, but... Um, um, in addition to that, um, the Assassin's Wrath uh, increases crit as well. So Black Diamond's main thing is increasing people's criticals. And keep in mind that healers can crit too. So bringing Augustus along uh, is probably a good pairing with her. But in terms of any type of damage, no matter any way you spin it, unless you're looking at 6-star Black Diamond versus a recently summoned lower level Kira at 3 stars, um, Kira's going to excel all the way. Now, obviously, I can't compare low numbers versus high numbers with a very low Black Diamond and then scaling upward versus a um, lower Kira and scaling upwards as well. But every way we look at it in this case here, Kira is um, hands down the victor. So any comments, uh, questions, concerns, or things that I overlooked as far as these comparisons, please feel free to let, let me know in the comments. We can always revisit some things, but I think this one here is not really in the neighborhood of too close to call. They have the exact same rune loadout. They have the exact same speed. They have the exact same targeting on their abilities. They're basically exactly the same heroes, except for one of them is substantially better than the other. So pretty clear, Victor, that it is Kira, which is why he's used by everybody, and Black Diamond is just sort of there. All right, until next time, we will uh, see you again. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button, and be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie, there's only passion. We'll see you next time.